So I'm really excited, but before we get started, let me just put some lip gloss. I just got out of the shower. I didn't put any moisturizer. I have nothing on my face except that I cleansed. I don't think I exfoliated. I didn't exfoliate today, but that's okay. Um, it's been a while since I've done a face story unboxing because I've always been buying on an as needed basis with face story and just the products that I want or need. They have this deal on Fridays, which are Friday faves. Certain skincare products go on sale on Friday. So remember, Mondays are $1 masking day. So certain types of masks are on sale for a dollar. And then also on Fridays, they have this deal called Friday faves and certain skincare mask or just depending on what the item is it's heavily heavily discounted i got this box from face story and it's an oily skin type set it's actually still online right now it's on sale for 30 dollars um, but it's originally $51.50. If you do have a mass subscription box with them, they come in these nice boxes right here. So this is what you get. I have this Artemisia Face Story Toner. So I was on the hunt for a new toner and of course I went onto the Face Story website because who doesn't love Korean skincare? right this is made in korea this is the first time i believe that face story has come out with their own brand of skincare and face mask actually and we'll go into that but i got this the pore refining toner mist i love this green bottle when i see green it reminds me of like clean products oh it does say no harsh chemicals so that's nice also i got the artemisia Balancing Light Facial Cream. Who doesn't need a moisturizer? I love testing out different kinds of moisturizers. I love testing out different types of toners because I feel like their ingredients are basic enough to where, you know, I can switch it up a bit. But also remember to check on the ingredients because Every skin type is different. All of us have different reactions to different types of ingredients. Other products here in the box are eight different types of masks. And we're gonna go through them one by one and just kind of unbox and see what we got. So let's just get started. Let's start with the toner because my face is so dry and parched right now. I am in need of a serious toner. It comes with a pump. So you do have the option of either having it in a pump. Comment down below which do you prefer. Do you like applying your toner with a cotton pad or with a spray? I personally like either one. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on because I'm curious to see how the spray is. So that's nice. It has a nice little spray. Okay, I don't smell any scent and it does say here on the box that there are no artificial fragrances okay let's go ahead and spray it on the story of artemisia begins with providing relief to the skin through soothing and purifying properties this healing herb calms inflammation soothes redness prevents skin aging and brightens the complexion for glowing fresh skin if you need blemish control if you need pore minimizing skin relief, let's say you have redness, um, inflammation, inflammation of the skin, like any puffiness, any kind of even acne will benefit from this and just balancing the skin out. There is no fragrance at all. I love skincare nowadays that has more clean ingredients and I hope that like makeup products will also go towards the clean side, no harsh chemicals. And I wanna use my channel to really look for more natural, clean ingredients when it comes to makeup and skincare. And so be on the lookout for that. But yep, this is a good start. It contains 50% Artemisia capillaris. Okay, what is Artemisia? Artemisia is also known as mugwort. So I'll put a picture of what mugwort looks like because I personally don't know what that looks like myself. It's used in Asian cooking, but also it's an anti-inflammatory ingredient. It contains high doses of vitamins A and C. And actually the very first ingredient in this toner is artemisia. So 
I'm just gonna help that absorb into my skin more. It's not that sticky, but there is a little bit of stickiness to it. You know, because of the vitamin C, that tends to make things sticky, and so I think that's why. And honestly, I don't know how I feel about that because at the end of the day, I want my toner to be just very simple, kind of like a refresher to the skin. It doesn't feel refreshing to me. <laughs> It feels a little, I don't know if I'm just not used to it. I am feeling a little bit of stinging on the face. Not every skincare product is gonna work for you. That's a given. It's not that the skincare is bad, it's just every person is different. I wanna fall in love with Artemisia, but hmm. Hi guys, after using the Artemisia toner for a couple of days, it didn't really give me any types of reactions. It's a little sticky, so it's not my favorite, but overall, not a bad product. The next one in my box is the Balancing Light Facial Cream. It's in a tube. Apply on appropriate amount evenly onto the face as the last step to your skincare routine in the p.m. and or before sunscreen in the morning so this is what it looks like it's a very light gel again this box is meant for oily skin types or acne prone skin types it is meant for people with sensitive skin i love the texture of the cream i love it it reminds me of my most favorite moisturizer, which is the First Aid Beauty. It's one of my skincare faves. It has that similar texture, similar feel on the face. Feels very cooling and refreshing. It's not quite a gel where it's very lightweight moisturizer, but it's not like a cream where it's very thick. Um, it's somewhere in between, which is my kind of moisturizer because I have combination skin. So sometimes I prefer not a very light moisturizer, but just somewhere in the middle. So excited about these face masks. Face Story is really starting to build their own brand. All eight of these masks are all from the Face Story brand. So it's not one of those Korean brands that I normally see or have purchased from Face Story, so this is their own brand. It's not always natural or clean ingredients with Korean skincare. Face Story is developing their brand around cleaner ingredients, so that's nice, and I'm excited to try more next time. So the first mask here is called Face Story Everyday Pearl. The Everyday Pearl is around $2.50. You want to look for this seal right here. It says no harsh chemicals. I'll list the basic harsh chemicals that you see in skincare and makeup here at the bottom of the screen. Again, there's no artificial fragrance in them. And also, this is a plant-based approved product. So does that mean it's vegan? I'm going to try on one of the masks for you guys. We'll decide at the end uh, what I'm going to try. But this one, it's an antioxidant. It brightens and it delivers radiance to the skin. Next one is the Everyday Lemon. It has that no harsh chemical sign. Any kind of citrus ingredients, vitamin C, lemon extracts all of those are great for brightening i'm looking at my notes guys it is great for evening complexion minimizing dark spots minimizing pores and oil control so i think i like this a lot i'm gonna set this aside because i really want to try this one everyday charcoal charcoal isn't really my favorite ingredient i feel like it breaks me out but I've never used a charcoal plant-based approved, vegan, and actually no harsh chemicals. So clean beauty. Um, and so I'm definitely excited to try this one. It's a detoxifying mask and it removes bacteria on the skin. Oh my goodness, rejuvenating snail mask. There's something about skincare and the snail ingredient that we all love, right? When we hear something very exotic, it's like, oh, I want to try that. Let's see here, snail secretion contains nutrients such as hyaluronic acid and glycoprotein to hydrate the skin and prevent signs of aging. Lots of snail protein in there. <laughs> Every single snail mask I've tried has been wonderful. Oh my goodness, is a rayon type of mask. I don't think I've tried, I've always tried cotton sheet mask. 
So now I kind of want to try this on camera. It has hyaluronic acid to soothe and it has shea butter too. It's a highly moisturizing mask and I think I'm going to go with this. So we'll see, we'll see. The next one that I got is the Let's Talk Detox Purifying Pore Mask. So again, this has charcoal in it. This one doesn't have that seal. In addition to the snail mask, they both don't have that clean seal of approval from Face Story, which is interesting. So not all Face Story products are clean. Either way, it's nice that they're moving towards that direction. You know what I mean? It has volcanic ash, soybean, and charcoal powder, which binds to impurities to remove dirt, toxins, and excess oils. There are definitely days when I am super oily, and so I appreciate a good detoxifying mask. And it says here, cleans pores, reduces lines and wrinkles, and it's great for inflammation and oily skin. If you need deep cleaning, definitely use this mask. Soothe Me Tea Tree Skin Clearing Mask. And again, all of these masks are from the Face Story brand itself. So um, I'm not sure how recent they've come out with their own brand. Everything is made in Korea though. And then it says here it's distributed by Face Story in Moonstone, Bria, California. Soothe Me Tea Tree is about $3. Oh, did I tell you guys the pricing? I'll have the pricing in the description box below. So just check that out in case you're interested. Treats, blemishes, oil control. It's gonna be perfect for those who have acne prone skin. It looks like a two step. You have the first step says here, step one and then step two. Something about the mask when you put it on, according to my research, it really helps push those ingredients deeper into the skin. So that's what I love about masking, really. Um, and then Face Story Glow Baby Glow. I love that name. And again, it's a two-step mask. Glow Baby Glow is full of antioxidants. It has aloe extract and minimizes we all know that aloe is great at reducing skin irritation and so I think this would be great in the summertime. I might save this. Oh, the last one is the Sunbay mask. So this is the one that you want to use for the summertime. I've tried this before. If you want to see my try on, go watch a very old video of mine. It's not so old, but you know, last year where I try on seven different types of masks over a couple of days and I've given you my thoughts and opinions about them and so definitely check this out if you want to see how I put it on and you want to see what the mask looks like definitely check out this video one of my faves for sure so which one do I pick I think I'm gonna do the everyday pearl guys it says here step one cleanse your face check apply the mask onto your face and then leave on for 10 to 15 minutes and let your skin soak in all the nutrients. Remove the mask and pat in the remaining essence left on your skin. See you guys back in 15 minutes. Okay, I am back. And I'm sorry that I didn't get to show you the removal of the face mask because I forgot to turn the camera on. <laughs> As I was saying while my camera was turned off, I love that this had a lot of serum in it. My face felt so soaked. It had like a very thick layer of moisture, but it was the good kind. It wasn't the oily kind of moisture. It was a good kind of serum. It felt really nice. First impressions, I love, love this mask. Oh, I love the shape of the mask. It clings nicely to my face because there are some Korean masks that are kind of small, you know, the parts of your nose are still showing and it has a good face shape where it covers all parts of my face. So that's nice. It's very cooling. The whole time that I had it on, it felt very cooling on the face. And even just touching my face right now, it has that cooling sensation. I feel like it minimized my pores. I really do because I distinctly remember looking at my pores closely and it really was pretty big earlier. <laughs> That's interesting that you can clearly see that change. So I feel like I have a more even skin tone. And of course, this is jam-packed full with antioxidants and I love that. I love to go out 
with an antioxidant serum. It has no harsh chemicals. It's plant-based approved. And it's one of those, um, you know, clean beauty from Face Story. Um, so get yourself one of those. Use my affiliate link to help me out if you'd like. And then, of course, I have all of this sheet mask, which I'm thinking of a giveaway. I'm thinking of a future giveaway, guys. So I'm definitely gonna throw some of these masks in. And if we get to 200 subscribers by the time I post this video, I am giving all of this away. Yep, this is the prize. So I'm gonna save this, put this on the side. This is two, four, six, seven masks. If I am at 200 subscribers, you guys are gonna get this. So. so that is it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this bare face video. If not, you know, I'm sorry. My skin's not perfect. <laughs> Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Comment down below if you've tried Face Story before. What are your favorite products or masks from Face Story? Yeah, that is it. I'll definitely see you guys back in my corner soon. Bye.